Hey everybody. Yes. I have let this thing go for quite a long time. If you look at the cycles that we are in right now, 21,452. Yes. That is how many cycles we have used. As I said, nobody commented, so we didn't do any of these. I'm just going to research them. And we're going to sit here for just a little bit longer. We do have the mess all that's required. It is paused right now. I do have an infirmary that's paused. I have four bug insect farms. There we go. I want to call them bug farms for some reason. I did place these. I don't have anything in them. We have 44 polymer left. Or, um, 44 alloy. There we go. Polymers right here. Alloy. We do have that. However, we don't have a ton of everything else. Now, I do need to get these ones, then I'm going to do the Alternate Life Center and the Cryostasis Center. But, let's go ahead and finish this one off. Communal Dining. So we're just going to resume that. Turn that on. Turn that on. And that's all that we needed to do. Now we just need to... Oh! I need to get this turned on, otherwise it's never going to build. Turn that one on as well. Turn on a few things. Look at there. Look at that build. I do have the speed on high. I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Barger. Let's go ahead and let let's hear what Henry has to say. Should we? Oru, Administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace our fate, don't you think? I'm Henri Barjaville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Ushanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangais. Even though they are a small organization, the Ashtangais are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. Okay, and that into that. Apparently our tech tree um, was paused due to the fact of waste. So, Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Dolus's head of medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Let's hear what Dr. Munchi has to say in just one second. Yep, that is set, so it's going to gather everything. Let's turn it on, actually. There. No people know anything else. Yep, there we go. Let's go over here. What do they have? Absolutely nothing, right? Oh okay. yeah. So go back in and let's go ahead and listen to what Dr. Munchi has to say. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Yes, because we need to remember that space is not forgiven. There we go. Let's go ahead and we're going to resume. I've had, had time going super fast trying to get through all the research. 
Not even thinking that I was just burning through all my few food without actually replenishing any of it. So now we got one. Negative two, because we don't really have anything coming in yet. Okay. Health, we do not have that. We could make it very easily. Do that. Prison. Now we can't have a ton. Okay, that's nine. I cannot go over on how many people we have. That's the thing. We have to continuously under. So now we're making food. So that will go up. It is a uh, food is served in mess hall. Now this is an average of five cycles. Okay, so we have to go through five cycles before it actually does that. And we have finished researching everything. We cannot do level two on anything right now. Nope. I wish you could, but apparently you can't. Double check in, just to make sure, you never know. Nope, can't. Okay, so go back over here, that one is going. Speed up a little time. Get this one going, make sure. Oh no! Turn that off. Takes five. Takes five as well. There. We cannot do overwork, people. We have to keep optimal at all times. Cannot be above optimal. There's that. Now, we do not need this. So we can turn that off. Turn that off. There, we have workers available 98. We have workers in the sector 96. There we go. So we're going to build up food. So now, next one. Bolt engine. So we need nine people for that. Take that offline. Take that online. External construction. Here's where the problem is. I don't have that many. That's gonna bring those all over. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get the other bits that I need. Those are not taking up any. I can disassemble this. I can disassemble this. That'll give me... What is that? 20 and 40? Nope, 10. 10 and 10. So that's 64 that I would have. 65. This is 20. That'll give me 85. That would or wouldn't do anything if I disassembled that one. You know what? I think I have to disassemble these ones. Even though I just built them. This is 15. Let's see how many I have after I get done disassembling that one. I don't want to disassemble too much. Let's see how many we have. So if I disassemble this for 10, and I disassemble this, so I don't have to have that one. Which give me 15 there. And that's gonna be a little there. So good on our people. There we go. Incoming transmission. Let's go ahead and listen to that now. Administrator, 
Because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. And we already have that. We have a lot of housing right here. So I have 225. Okay. Here. Food. We need iron. That's what I need. I'm going to need a lot more food. A lot more iron. Okay, what's our next step? Bring the remaining workers from the Sabi on board and die queen. There we go. Go ahead and speed time up. Go ahead and get them all over really fast. Again, I'm hoping to keep these episodes around 30 minutes to 45. There's not really a time lapse. Not really, due to the fact that everything is pretty much here. We have a ton of workers now, so I can turn this on, I can turn this on, this can be turned on, and this can be turned on, and we still are not up to there. That's where I wish I had that last one. He's just going to start building up. It's an overstock. Which is okay. Because we use 20 every time now. Administrator, the different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the full bonding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Okay, should we listen to this guy? Uh, we can't really progress unless we do, so let's go ahead and listen. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others, like Dolos, who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief. But at least I can rest assured, knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light, and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. Okay. That finishes there. Any more? So, now we need to hold the Tycoon into orbit around the moon. Go ahead and move to the moon. We don't have anything left for us in the solar system. Back in here. Make sure nothing left to research, right? Nothing. We have to eat that one. So they stop you from progressing by not letting you have this last thing. Because otherwise you could unlock this and just start researching all of this. 
before leaving the solar system. I sort of wish they did. Sort of. Uh, intricate full jump. It's right here, isn't it? Oh, wait, we're not in place yet. Now we're in place. Are we in place now? We are in place. So, in three, two, one, go. In accordance with Ralph Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. If you look here, it's actually powered up. We're 50% now. We're almost there. We're about ready to leave. We're about to leave. Almost. Three, two, one. Boom. Full engine ready. And here we go. Let's go ahead and jump to a new solar system. of evolution beyond raw survival beyond the safety of comfort we humanity pursue something greater we have learnt persevered shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science however humanity has brought destruction to the earth polluted its blood choked its breath today we are paying the price for this we know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine.
Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Several anomalies detected. Multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Full engine critically damaged. Hull integrity compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. We are receiving no communication signals from Earth. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk Survival Protocols. New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Urgent issues requiring immediate attention. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. Okay. <clears throat> a new request awaits your attention. There we go. A new request. No, I really don't want to click on these, but I'm going to. Uh, administrator, the crew are asking a lot of questions about the state of the Earth. Munchie behavior algorithm predicts a decrease in productivity of 22% if these questions go unanswered. As administrator of that green station, you should find some answers quickly commit to sending an expedition to earth which we are going to do right away then we'll come back in event available ministry you have noticed that the moon is broken apart the crew are aware of this and many rumors are spreading throughout the station you will have to make an official statement Bellas has many enemies sometimes something must have happened during the test jump being such a high profile event, it was a perfect opportunity for them to strike and sabotage our plants. Despite our robust safety measures, a system failure at the exact moment of the jump caused the engine to drag a part of the moon into its self similar space. This failure has cost humanity dearly. Our mission now is to rebuild. Evidence suggests a great deal of time has passed in the solar system. The moon destruction is obviously a consequence of humanity's selfish and warlike instincts. I think I'm going to go with that's our fault. Because I, this one, yeah, we're just going to go with it. Whose trust in your leadership is falling? Trust penalty, negative 5%. That's okay. Our trust is still okay. We got 50%. 50 Two percent current trust. With everyone being happy, that's giving us two percent to trust. Ship has arrived at its destination. Let's go ahead. So, summary of Earth data: No signals have been received from Earth. The ocean seems to have evaporated, and the surface temperature has risen significantly since the Tequeen has was last in orbit. Atmospheric readings indicate the presence of strong dust storms and dangerous high levels of carbon dioxide, radiation, and microplastics. The blue planet will never again deserve its name. Three options. Investigate Dulles headquarters. The Ellen Meyer team will proceed to the coordinates of Inner Haven, a former headquarters of Dulles AEC on Earth. Investigate personal location. Then our team will attempt to find your family home. The team will use all the tools on board the Allen Meyer to search for any signs of civilization, community, or survivors. So I say we try to find survivors first. Then we're going to come in here. We have all of our food. We don't have to worry about that. We do need to turn this on. Which means we do need to start finding. Nope, nope. Go here. Look there, there we go. Oh no. Yep, that one's actually the one that I want. Right there. Want that one first. Meal cycles, that's going to take 20, so that'll take care of 2, 4, 6, 
Eight, nine, so that'll take care of nine of those. That'll be okay. Come back out here. Let's go ahead and speed tie them up. There's not really much we can do. Actually, nope, I cancel that. We can get this. Let's research that. Speed tie them up. Now we're getting that research in. Population, cryostasis center, we do need this very soon. But we do need... We don't want to use any more of that. Go ahead and disassemble that for right now. Almost done with that. A science ship team has completed a task. After a long search, we have found nothing but rubble. We've seen no signs of life, not even a corpse. The lunar lunaclism seems to have caused a series of events that participated the collapse of thermo-industrial civilization. The earth has become toxic and the orid wasteland scoured by harsh winds, now more inhabited inhabitable than Mars. The only remnant of civilization we found was a fallen stale where the city of Washington once stood. Stuck in the crevasse, it had been sheltered from the winds. A prayer imploring divine forgiveness was engraved in gold on the surface. Okay. So we don't really have to have the science right now. So let's just go ahead and we're going to investigate Dallas headquarters. Now, the ship is going over there. So this one right here, it's going to pick up. Iron for the alloy first, because we need the alloy. Because what we need to build is, well, first we need to go in here. Nope, not yet. Still not done. We need to build population cryo center. And then we also need to build maintenance. Those need to be built. You're going to be paused for right now. You're going to be paused and you're going to be paused. I want this one built first. A science ship team has completed a task. Let's go back out. What do we got? The converted oil rig where which Dull is used as the state of art headquarters is done. Only a few metal scraps remain. Scattered across an expanse of dust, cracked rocks, there is no sign of survivors. Personal location now. It's two cycles. We had 88 research. This is going to be collecting all of that for us. So now let's go over here and we need to start this auto building those. So that's done. So let's resume that. Ooh, I need more. Need to figure out how I'm going to get more of those. Can't remember if the personal location gives them to me or not. But I need those for our next thing. So our next thing that we want to do is the debris field. That's where cryopods are. We want to start getting those cryopods right away. We want to start waking them up right away. Let's speed up some time. Here, that's still working. Nope, that's because it's purging right now. Another 0.1 cycle. A science ship team has completed a task. Let's go in. There we go. Nine of them. A huge crevasse cut through the ground where the where your home once stood. There's no trace of civilization. Administrator, a new request Let's awaits go ahead and get all that. I don't really want to look at any of these. Goes right here. 
Administrator, to safeguard humanity, we must find survivors and increase the station's population. We do not have time to go through the classic reproductive cycle for your species. Adding new members to the Tycoon crew will have a positive impact on morale. Cryonic stasis, a practice pioneered by Dulles, was in growing use even after we left the solar system. Even though before we left the solar system, there is a very high likelihood that cryonic pods containing survivors await their discovery. We're going to collect them. Now here's the one I don't like. Administrator, the mission report from the expedition of Earth has become discussing, dis, begun discussed amongst the crew. The thought of having lost all loved ones left behind has destroyed morale for many of them. The symptom of the trauma has a new has now been classified under the medical diagnosis Dead Earth Sickness. Rub some dirt on it, you'll get better. That was the one I didn't really want. Cryostasis pods, there we go. So that's gonna do that. Resume there, resume there. You're gonna be there. You're gonna be there. Now let's go back out here. Get another one. Want that one right there. Still waiting on all that science to get collected. Come over here now. New upgrades are available for research. Research that. So for that one, I need all of those unlocked. So, let's start with that one. Let's go ahead and get some more other stuff first. What do you say? Let's go ahead and get those last. Is it going to get the last things that I wanted? Is it going to get what I wanted? Those? Or not? What do you think? Not on this trip. Oh, there we go. So it's going to finish off that one. Okay, let's speed some time up. Let's find another planet. There. So now it's just a waiting time. Waiting game. Turn you off. Again, we have to continuously be watching here. I cannot go over time. Okay. So I got enough to be able to do that. That's why I wanted those, and I want that. Because I want those to be there. Oh yeah, I can do that. Now, resume this. So we can get the battery started. So we can start moving around the solar system before we have to. Feed down. Shabby. Actually, nope. I want to go to Breed Field first. Speed up time. That's going to continue to getting these. Still got a little bit left here. We got a lot of Palmer left. That's another one of these. Nope, we got a lot of iron. Right there. And slow time. This one is almost there. We want to get those cryopods. Yeah. Transmission from Karako Panunan probe data analyst. We have verified the data survive several times and can confirm the existence of a vast debris field covering an area of several thousand kilometers 
At the center of the field is a colossal artificial structure, which even in its ruined state makes a Tyqueen look like an insect. No signal has been detected. We have identified three areas for investigation. Excuse me. Investigation. The core of the structure, a secondary structure that looks to have looks to be the remains of destroyed loading docks, and a particularly dense area of a debris field close to the two sides. We recommend the utmost caution be taken when approaching these areas. The floating debris will make navigation difficult and interfere with communications. Summary of the intelligence from the debris fields. The Allen Meyer is holding station at the edge of the debris field. A route has been a map through the area identified for investigation. Investigate the structure, investigate the rule line dock, or the debris. So we're gonna do the debris first. Yes, debris first. Then we will go on for the rest of it. Don't have nope, I do not. So now we need to build one more thing we need. Oh, looky there. Optimized quarters. That means we got the training center done. So now we need. Should we do crops? Or DLS. I think we do DLS first. Because that's what we need for this core this section. Then we're going to go to factories. We're gonna do a steel mill. Hmm. Just my luck, it's not gonna work. So I cut that off. Go do this. Then road straight down there. What that's gonna do is give me the option. So I got three there. Do that there. Turn that off because that's gonna take 30 people. We have the people available for it, but we don't have any resources to do anything with it. So why would we? So Hall Integrity, right now we are at 883 of 900. So we're good there. Never overworking our people. Never want to. Everybody's happy. So we need to keep that that way. Keep that on. Keep that on, so they keep on going. Reasons for everything I do. Speed up some time. Ooh, we found some people. That's gonna get those people. Let's go ahead and start up another probe. Go ahead and go there. That's got those people coming back. We got 0.9 cycles here. See what we can do. Six, five, four, three, two, up three, two, one, zero. The science ship team has completed a task. Let's go in here first. That's done. Good. See what they got. Let's see what they figured out. The wreckage of sh shadow sh fleet everywhere. Most belonging to the UN, though some are bearing the acronym BMS, despite the many hazards and particular physical impact from the presence of human corpses, the Elmer Tier was able to locate some salvaged resources. So 25 people, 30 resources, 10 tech. So we're gonna investigate the core of the structure or the rune load act. We'll do the core of the structure first. Let's get another probe going. We're looking for only tech right now. There we go. 
once this is done, then I think we're going to go to the asteroid belt. Then after the asteroid belt, come to the Urshabi. Which right now we still have a ton of food. We have resources. So for this, everybody's just going to be going to sector one. Which we're going to set this to 5,000. Because we only have one sector. People? Yep. That's going to start bringing people over to here now. So we can start throwing some people out. Get some more people. Now, we are going to have non-workers now. Yes. So we do have our first people here. So what we're going to do is we're going to end this uh, end this episode for today. We're going to end this here. We do have our first people that are starting to get thought out. Okay? So they're starting to get thought out. So we will go ahead and end it and we will kick up the next time. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you next time.